parents, welcome to Seminole County Virtual School. This video will provide an overview of the most commonly asked questions parents have as their students begin working with us. In this video, we will discuss how your child can get started in their course, how to create a parent account, the parent communication requirements, the discussion-based assessment, our academic integrity policy, pacing requirements, what to do if your child is having technical problems, and some helpful tips for your child as they begin working. Your child can register for both eCampus and FLVS courses directly from our website, virtualschool.scps.k12.fl.us. Please note that it may take up to 24 hours for the guidance counselor to approve the enrollment and for the course to appear online. Once the student has access to the course, the parent and student should watch the welcome video and complete the student agreement form. Students and parents should also schedule a welcome call with the teacher. In order to monitor student progress at any time, parents should set up a parent account. This allows the parent to see their child's assignments and grades throughout the course. If the course is through FLVS, you can create a parent account by visiting the parent tab on the virtualschool.scps.k12.fl.us website. Click SCVS Parent Account from the drop-down menu and follow the instructions listed. Be sure to have your child's username and password when creating your account. If the course is through eCampus, you can also create a parent account by visiting the Parent tab on the virtualschoolscpsk 12 .fl.us website. Click eCampus Parent Account Sign Up from the drop down menu and follow the instructions listed. Again, be sure to have your child's username and password when creating your account. Parent and teacher communication is very important in the virtual school setting. Parents should expect to communicate with the teacher at least once per month. During the welcome call, parents can indicate which method of communication is preferred email, text or phone call. Please keep in mind that if a student is struggling, the parent contact will increase and the contact will typically be completed via phone call. Students are required to complete discussion-based assessments or DBAs in every course. Students will be asked to answer questions about the module during these phone conversations with their teacher. The questions will review the key topics in each module making sure that the student is prepared to take the module exam. Teachers can also help clarify any conceptual misunderstandings the student has during these calls. This is a great way for the student and teacher to connect on a regular basis throughout the year. Academic integrity is one of the core values and one of the most important areas of focus in the SCVS community. Students are expected to submit their own original work. Teachers use a variety of monitoring tools in order to ensure that the students are completing their own work. All academic integrity investigations are turned over to FLVS. Parents and students are notified of any academic integrity violations and consequences. Each course has a unique PACE chart. It is very important for the student and parent to be familiar with the PACE chart to determine the number of assignments that are required each week. The students should be sure to complete the assignments in the order in which they are listed on the PACE chart. Our goal at SCVS is for students to successfully complete their courses in a timely manner so as not to impede their promotion to the next grade and or graduation from high school. Keeping up with the course PACE chart will ensure this completion. Should you or your child experience any technical problems, you can contact the appropriate help desks. Within FLVS courses, visit help.flvs.net or call 1-800-374-1430. Within eCampus courses, you should contact 1-855-981-8103. Be sure to keep the teacher informed of any technical issues as well. As your student begins working, please keep in mind the following helpful tips. Students should save all of their work. Parents and students should check to make sure that all contact information is correct within the appropriate course system. 
Students and parents should respond to all communications from the teachers. Teachers are expected to do the same. If you have any additional questions, please check out the Frequently Asked Questions section of our website, virtualschool.scps.k12.fl.us. We are honored that you have chosen SCVS for your child's online educational path. We take your child's learning seriously, and we appreciate you entrusting their education to us.